Welcome back to the channel everybody. Thank you so much for joining me today. I have something a little bit different. Uh, I don't know if you remember a couple months ago I shot a video comparing the DJI Osmo Pocket 2 versus the GoPro Hero 8. Uh, but that was my most successful video thus far on the channel. And even though I have a passion for going to the parks and kind of doing those things around here around Orlando, I got a new toy for my cameras uh, in the gear world that I think I want to show you um, that it's actually really exciting and it's a game changer and it might change and shake up the vlogging world uh, as we know it because as of right now our options for tripods that are on the go are very very limited so if you're interested in that kind of thing stick around and I want to show you what we have today so thank you so much again for joining me today my name is Donovan let's get into it okay so for the last couple years the the on-the-go tripod market has kind of been slim and it's resulted in um, I to me not a huge push in innovation for something new uh, and hopefully that's changing and what I have today I think is a is a game changer and is going to propel the market towards more better on the go stuff for us more gear and competition is great and we love competition because competition creates opportunities and uh, I think a lot of people are going to take notice of this thing uh, and I hope there's a lot of things to come because of this product that I'm about to show you but before I do I wanted to kind of show you what we're working with up to this point in time and that's the Joby Gorillapod and up to now this has kind of been my daily driver as my big camera rig tripod and it's enormous it's over like a foot long it's bulky it's awkward and it's not ergonomic and on top of all that it's expensive and over time these little ball joints break down this one has the metal inside so it doesn't break down as fast because it's the 5k but it still breaks down and then if you have it as a tripod there's a chance that your thou couple thousand dollar camera is going to fall over and I don't know man that's not what I want I don't want to spend thousands of dollars on a rig that you work really hard for and you take it out into the world and you're already scared of taking it out into the world into the elements and your tripod fails uh, the legs tip over on a, you know, on a table. God forbid it tips over onto the ground where there's concrete. Uh, it's just, it's a disaster. And on top of that, you have this ball joint that doesn't have a locking pin. Why doesn't it have a locking pin? So you're, what you're dealing with is this just little screw, this little hand tightening screw that you risk your like my, my rig my rig's very expensive and it's happened where I've been out in Disney Springs and it's fallen off because it's not secure and that is probably the biggest thing and to me that is probably the biggest reason I'm moving forward with my tripods I mean it's one thing when you're carrying something that's probably three and a half four kilos or I don't know I don't know why they don't go by pounds but then you have this guy and you have it all out like this and you're doing it all day and then it just it's 
your hands cramp. It's just a bad time. But, big but, and I cannot lie, that I'm really excited. This just came in, and you may have seen it because it was like a huge thing about two months ago. All the creators on YouTube got one, and they were showing it off, and I clicked on Potato Jet's uh, video of it, and I was like, oh, okay. And it forced me to buy one because it has a lot of options, and it has a locking pin, and it's built really well, and it secures the camera really well, and it holds it up. And that's what I'm looking for, and it's really good ergonomically for your hands. So without further ado, I give you the PGY Tech Manus Pod Pro Edition. So this guy right here is really cool and I want to tell you why. So this is my Canon G5X Mark III and uh, I just wanted to have a camera on there so you can see what it would look like. Uh, this is kind of the tribe or the vlogging setup. The main, you know, you have it here and you have a good sturdy um, rubberized piece here for your hands and your thumb. So you have a good ergonomic, I keep on saying that, I don't know why. It has a good grip and it's just really nice in the hands and it holds the camera really well, which I'll show you in a couple minutes. Um, but this is like a, something like a nine in one. So uh, let me explain. Okay, so this is the tripod alone and it doesn't look much like much. Um, but however, there's a lot of mo things that this little guy can do. So to start off, you have three cold shoes uh, that you can attach the ball joint with your camera in. You have one here at the top. I know it's not going to like me. You have one here on the side. Let's see if I can get that shine in there. There you go. You have that one. And then you have a, you have a secret one. And this little piece here, here. And you just unpop this. And then you have a cold shoe inside. And that will lead me to my next point. So this thing has a tripod legs right here. So you can unfold those and then you can put it on the table like so and then it stands up and then you can adjust the form or the top piece to go with if you need your camera level or not. This button here will lower and raise this top cold shoe so you can adjust your camera from being level. So this comes out and then this now is a almost lay flat tripod design and then again you can press this and get your cold shoe back up level with your camera and then you can also push these back in and now you have like a boomerang. Okay, so this is a really cool feature here. Um, so this is all compacted and these two buttons here control the opening and closing of the tripod. So it kind of locks, it's locked right now. If you press the big button and the smaller button together, it opens it all, it opens it up and it'll lock into these individual locking spots that it shows you by a white dot on the side. This is the fully articulated option that it has. So this is the longest away, this is the longest that the tripod goes, which is really nice because you can take your camera with the ball joint and there's this little, behind this door, there's a cold shoe, so if you take this and slide it in, you can hear that snap, and then you can tighten it down. And it's super secure now. And now you have a long 
wide view. As, as you can see, this is close up. And then this is full armed view. So this is my arm all the way stretched out. So now you have a nice field of view from just changing the orientation of where you put your camera, which is super cool, which the grill pod cannot do. So you unattach this guy and then you can put it back at the top. You hear that snap, you tighten it down. And then it has a locking mechanism here on the side. That silver, you put, you push that down, that's the lock. Put the little door back down. I think for me, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use the tripod mostly like this, in this form right here. I don't think it's gonna come out of here very often unless I absolutely need it. Um, because on my big camera, which I'll, that's the main reason I got this is because my big camera, which it can support, and I'll show you in a second. I already have a 15 millimeter lens so I can get a super wide angle so I don't need to extend it. Uh, however, when I have this camera on here, I can use it and get a wider angle and show more stuff and that's, that's awesome. This also has a couple more tricks up its sleeve, which I find really nice. Uh, on the back, when you unfold the tripod and have it fully extended, so I don't know if you can see this, this is kind of why it's called the Manus Pod, and when it's fully extended, you have this little hook uh, you can attach to maybe a fence or something that ha it can hang on. And then below, uh, these rest on, I guess, the wall or whatever it may be below. And you have a hanging tripod. If you don't have a big tripod or you didn't bring it, this can hang up high. And then you can level the camera out and just kind of speak and talk uh, eye level instead of having it being on the ground or find something. We've all been there. We've stacked boxes up to get that level, that eye level, where this can hang, which is really unique and really cool. So out and about, uh, if you're in a park or something and you don't have anything else to stack up, that, that will probably come in um, pretty handy. Now, when you're talking about pricing, uh, the like I said before, the Joby, Grill pods probably $145 altogether. I actually brought up the pricing for this guy. This is $149 for the ball head joint and the tripod. And it comes, mine came with a, it came with an Arca Swiss compatible plate. Okay, so. Moving on from the tripod to the ball head, which is actually really nice and it is, I think, well thought out. So I'll start with the camera off and uh, it comes, like I said, with the Arca Swiss plate, um, which, if you don't know, looks like this and it is pretty universal to most tripods out there. Um, and what's nice about this design is almost very similar to my Peak Design uh, tripod. So what I like about this design is it shoes in uh, from the camera goes into the front and then there's this little release clip here that kind of locks it in place and then on the side there is a locking mechanism here to fully secure and then fully lock down your camera. Uh, so that kind of goes like this and then you put the front of the camera in first and then you take your little clip you press it down and that's locked in and that's actually locked in pretty well um, without tightening the um, the lock back here and that's fully locked in and that <laughs> Uh, 
That's not going anywhere. So that's super nice and I like that quite a bit. Now, there's a few other um, knobs and uh, levers, if you will, that make up the ball head. So as you can see, this lever here controls the actual orientation of your ball head. And so to get it kind of level, I let it hang and then this tightens it back up and then now you have a tight ball head. And then you can do any orientation. They have the side or for your side shooters. And then you go back up, lock in, and you're good to go there. There is the one in the front here, and this does your 360 orientation. And you can, if you want it without taking it off your um, your plate, you can just swing it around and retighten it that way. Super nice to have that on there. And then the only other knob on here is your locking knob for your cold shoe. And the whole system kind of looks that's the whole ball head system. Probably what you've been waiting for is you don't want to see the little PowerShot G5X on here. You guys want to see the big rig. So what I'll do is I'll switch cameras and I'll show you me putting on the big camera and then I'll switch, I'll switch over to cameras. Okay, so I, right now I'm shooting on my point shoot, the G5X Mark III. So if there's a, a change in frames or quality, that is why. Uh, this is my uh, on the go camera. However, this is my US R6 with the 15 to 35 millimeter, and this is my Rode microphone on top. It is significantly heavier than what is shooting right now. Um, same, same plate, this is actually the plate that came with my Peak Designs, um, but again, you put in cold shoe first, or you put in the plate nose first, press down, and again, it's on there pretty good without locking it. And then I fully lock, and full control without it slipping, which is super, super great. Same process, if I were gonna take out the Joby, Gorilla Pod, you have to untighten to fit your plate, and then magically align and tighten the back, which you can't really get fully tightened um, all the way because it's a slippery pla or rubber piece and then that is fully in. And I don't trust that, like, I can, but I don't trust this system because I fully can't tighten it and there's no locking. Look, if that comes on, you saw how fast that came off because there's no locking mechanism. Now, we go back, that's fully in, locked. That took a significant amount of time less to, I can do this three times before I can do that once. And when you're vlogging, if you're trying to capture something and you don't have it on your, your pot or you're just hand holding, hand holding it and you need to run and gun and go to vlog mode, that's a that's a big waste of time that could, um, you can miss your shot. So, so uh, food for thought. I'm gonna switch over to here so you can kind of see on my end. Okay, so I'm gonna end it 
uh, here, but this is the handheld version or the the shot with the big camera on the Manus Pod. I kind of wanted to show you what it would look like just walking around here in my living room so you can get an idea of how the vlogging style would look like and kind of how easy it is to see just holding it. Uh, for me, the hand placement with and how comfortable it is beats the grill pod over and over all day long, every day. So I just wanted to show you. But if you like the video, please give it a like uh, down below and comment what your thoughts on the Joby grill pod is, if you like it, if you don't. And do you see yourself switching to something like this, the PGY Tech? And if you do like it, I wanna see if I can find a description or find a link for you and put it in the description below. Uh, I am not sponsored in any way by PJY Tech. I just wanted to kind of do this on my own to show you what's new out there on the market and maybe to help save you some time and some um, make your life easier. So uh, again, thank you so much for checking me out. Wherever you are in life, thank you so much. 